I want to thank one of my subscribers, Rachel Kataka, for this story. Ex-medical examiner is accused of trading 1,100 opioid prescriptions for sex as 44 are arrested in drug ring bust. You know, it, it was just maybe two months ago I did a story on a New Jersey doctor that killed his wife and he was in a drug ring uh, uh, with opioids selling them. You know, what is up with these? You know, and, and let this also show you, this is a reason why the drug plague is not going to end. It's just so many people involved in this thing. It's not even funny, including the cops. They're involved in many of this stuff too that's going on. I mean, this is just ridiculous. A former county medical examiner has been accused of trading painkillers for sex as Fed made 44 arrests to bust up an alleged prescription drug ring. Dr. Joseph Lawson Burton, 76, was indicted in Atlanta by a federal grand jury on charges of illegal distribution of opioid painkillers and other drugs, prosecutors said on Thursday. Burton, who was arrested in October on a narrower set of charges um, was named along with seven others in a new indictment describing the tawdry details of alleged sex for drug scheme. Woo, look at that face. I guess he did have to use sex for drugs. <laughs> Nobody would be attracted to him. The investigation began earlier last year when the Georgia Drug and Narcotic Agency found that Burton was writing a number of prescriptions despite not seeing any patients regularly. Investigators said that over two years, he wrote more than 1,100 opioid prescriptions, which amounted to over $108,000 individual doses. Um, wow. Including 66,030 milligram oxycodone pills. So he was writing these scripts for sex. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Burton traded away his responsibility as a licensed doctor and respected pathologists by allegedly writing unnecessary prescriptions in exchange for sex and romantic companionship, said U.S. Attorney Byung J. B. J. Pack. Okay. In a statement, his associates sought to profit by having those prescriptions filled and then selling those drugs, which include opioid painkillers like oxycodone, Pack said. So, you know, this is really not surprising, you know, especially junkies. Junkies will prostitute themselves for drugs. This is nothing new. Um... Prosecutors said that Burton, a respected forensic pathologist, would write illicit prescriptions without thoroughly examining patients, in some cases without even meeting them. In exchange, several women would trade new fo nude photos and sexual favors for the prescription, which the women would then fill and sell or obtain the names of others who paid for them. Oh my God, these people are disgusting. Neanderthal don't have no game. He has to use drugs to have sex with women. 
That's what you do when you have no game. Okay, co-defendant Jennifer Hunter, 29, Rhonda Hoglin, 59, Tiffany Wills, 26, each engaged in romantic relationship with Burden in exchange for a prescription, prosecutors said in a statement. Burton once served as a medical examiner for Cobb, Gwinnett, DeCab, and Clayton, Douglas, Paulding, and Rockdale counties, all in Georgia. He is well known in the region forensic community, having served on a number of high profile criminal cases. That doesn't mean anything. It seriously don't. You know, the problem with these folks, they think the law don't apply to them. Okay, so if you really believe the law don't apply to you, then there's no limit in what you would do. And he's clearly showing everybody that the DEA and local law enforcement have halted this unlawful distribution of opioids into our community. And we are committed to prosecuting those who sought to profit, Pack said. Opioid overdoses killed more than 175 people per day in the U.S. last year, according to federal data. So there you go. This medical examiner and doctor wrote prescriptions and pretty much gave them out according to who had sex with them. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice and join me over on Black Junction TV and Blackspot.com. Peace, family.